Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky Help, Mastering Plastic Conduit, 90 Degree Bend and Bubble Set for the AM2. Please like, share and subscribe. So at no further ado, we've got two boxes and we've got to set over a piece of conduit in this case, but it could be absolutely anything. So the first things we're going to do is measure roughly to where the back of bend is so we need to project a line up so we know roughly where it is and it is an approximation because we're not going to try to bend it to measurement so there we go it's approximately 300 mil thereabouts to the back of bend don't try to be precise with plastic so we're going to just measure 300 mil once i get the tape attached and put a mark on Put the mark on and always with plastic conduit we need to make sure that we put a bending spring in into it so we offer up the bending spring to the mark if it was too far down we would just bend over the bit of uh, wire that we've got attached to it a cable so it slides down to that point so we know the bending spring is in the middle of where we're going if it was a cool just warm it up with the hands a little bit and then work it round Try to keep it a reasonable radius. If you're doing used to doing steel conduit, it's trying to mimic that as a radius. So not too tight a bend, but not a long radius, but something reasonable for the conduit that you've got. And over pull it because it will try and it will bend back. So make sure you've prepped your saddles and your holes and all ready to go whilst you're doing this. So if you just left it lying around, chances are it would be near enough straight again. And whilst the spring is in there, you can adjust it. So don't pull the spring out too early. And then we're going to offer it up, up to our line where it's going to go vertically down and mark where we're going to cut it. And it goes up to that knurled edge there, which you can see in a second on the inside. There's a stop where it goes up to. So it's going to go up to that little lip in the inside there and mark it and cut it. And as you can see, I can just take one off, offer up to that point, mark where we're going to cut, and then get some cutters on a hacksaw or conduit cutters to cut that conduit down to size remember what you'd normally do is put solvent cement on it put some on that will go off very rapidly so make sure it's all lined up where you need to go especially when you've got bends See, on this you're not too bad um, and make sure it is in shape now it's time for the bubble set well, so for this, I just got a bit of conduit that was long enough to go from top to bottom. And I marked where the centre of the conduit, which I'm jumping over. So the obstacle in this case. And as it's a bit further down the spring, I've offered it up. Pull bent over the bit of wire. And then when it slides down to that point, and I'll just knock it down. Then I know that the bending spring will be smack bang centre over the mark that I originally have. So I know when I bend it, it won't kink. So apply a little bit of heat and I'm just going to pull the bend on that point. So I'm going to pull the middle bend first and pull a reasonable bend. So obviously it depends how much you're setting over by. So I want to set over by approximately 40 mil, which will be over the conduit and then plus 20 mil over the top of that. So there's a straight edge just to offer it up and I'm going to measure the 40 mil from this point and then so it is symmetrical either side I'm going to mark where it touches the straight edge line and that be where my next two bends go. And hopefully if providing they're not too far away the bending spring and it is in this case will still be in the right position so we've just got to make sure now it's about being consistent. I'm going to pull half the original bend because that's what we need to do to make them all set in line again. But be consistent on the bend. 
So you'll note I'm going to put that mark. And it's an approximation because it's very difficult. Obviously you're bending over your knee. you just got to make sure you're going in the right orientation. So check before you pull. And then pull half that bend in that same direction. And I'll turn around to do exactly the same, to be consistent in my measurement. And when I've pulled the bend, and if it's a little bit out, don't worry, you can tweak it. We're then going to put it back onto the straight edge. Make sure it is about right. Remember, my spring is still in there, so I can still adjust it should I need to. Check my dimension that I'm after. So I can always take a little bit out, but not too much because it will kink. And if I need to, I can adjust it now with the spring in, all in place. And then we're getting to the point where we're ready to put it on and put it together. So we can go back. There's my first piece that I did. And I mean, I could have made this in one piece. Um, if you wish to, you could. But if you get the, uh, the bubble set wrong and it goes in the wrong direction, then you've got to put a bend in. So to be honest, it's just easier just to put a bubble set in. And what I need to do, there's my bubble set. We're going to put that centre to make sure it sits directly centre over that conduit. And then we're going to mark off at the bottom where it goes into the adapter. Remember, up to that mark. And we'll go and cut that. And that's that ready to go. Remember, don't forget that the adapter it would be glued on obviously not in your am2 i don't think they bother with that but in normal life any other work that you tend to do glue them and remember it will go off instantly so make sure everything is in line where you need it to go not too bad on this one and i'm just going to offer the other bit bit up and just mark it for my coupler so you'll be given a coupler and an adapt obviously two adapters they be male or female, it doesn't really matter. But there you've got cut, coupler on. Remember, don't forget to glue them as necessary. Cut the other one. And on couplers, they almost join. If you looked inside one, the lip where it butts up to is very close, so you won't be able to push it all the way through. Make sure, you know, this is one where you would have to make sure you've glued it. Uh, if you do glue it, you get it in the right orientation very quickly because that glue does go off rather rapidly and it, as it physically welds the plastics together. So once they're glued, they're not coming apart again. And then do it all up. Then ultimately, check your connection so hopefully the bends are not kinked. There's no ripples in it, it all fits, it's tight and secure, ready for whatever can, cables are passing through it. So I hope this has been useful. Check your measurements. And if you really needed to, you could take it apart and put your spring back in it. But there you go. Make sure it looks half decent. Do a reasonable job. This is Sparky Help. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.